Welcome to Avanti's LMP Tech Talks. I'm Amy Drujitz, Head of Formulations here at Avanti Polar Lipids. Today, we're going to be making some nucleic acid lipid nanoparticles using our microfluidics device. There are many different vendors for microfluidics devices. Ours uses compressed air to pneumatically control flow through the product chambers, through the chips, and into the vial. First, we are going to load the solutions into our chambers. Here we have the organic solution. It contains lipids dissolved in ethanol at about 50 milligrams per milliliter. Common formulation parameters to evaluate include lipid composition and concentration, as well as solvent system. For more information on lipid nanoparticle formulation composition, we have another LMP Tech Talk, which we will link down below. The next two solutions are the same. Our aqueous phase contains nucleic acids in a buffered solution. The composition and pH of the aqueous phase should be evaluated and will be specific to the composition of your LMPs. Prior to initiating flow through the chip, we will tear all of our flow sensors and prime the lines. Then we will start by initiating flow on the aqueous phase, which enters the chip at the first and third inlets. Then the organic phase is initiated and enters on the second inlet of the chip. We are using a glass micromixer chip with herringbone design. This chip is designed to have two separate flow paths. As you can see, only the top flow path is being utilized here. Different chip architectures should be evaluated as a process parameter, especially if you are targeting different particle morphologies. Some chip architectures run best at slow flow rates while others are better for higher flow rates. Other common processing parameters include total flow rate through the system and flow rate ratio, which refers to the ratio of the aqueous to organic phases. The process you see here has a flow rate ratio of 3 to 1 and a total flow rate of about 1 milliliter per minute. The resultant product contains lipids at 12 milligrams per milliliter and 25% total ethanol. Depending on the cargo you are loading into the LMPs, a variety of methods can be utilized to determine the loading and encapsulation efficiency. Common analytical techniques for characterizing lipid nanoparticles include zeta potential to evaluate surface charge and dynamic light scattering to evaluate particle size. Once your LMPs are produced, you may have to incorporate an additional process operation like TFF, dialysis, size exclusion, or centrifugation in order to remove excess ethanol or unincorporated nucleic acids. If you need more information on LMPs or other lipid-based formulations, please visit our website or click on the links in the description. People do amazing things with our lipids. We can't wait to see what you will do. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video.